Hey, a very good evening, good afternoon, good morning to you. And I want to say a happy new year to you. Welcome to 2023. And this year, I promise you, it's going to be a wonderful time on the Power Impact Series. I am so glad to see you once again in the new year. My name is Ambassador Benjamin Oswansa, and it's always a pleasure to have you here on the Power Impact Series, proudly brought to you by the African Season Speakers Network. And this year, uh, 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 we are kickstarting with a wonderful person you love to hear over and over again. Last year was a wonderful time with all our speakers that came to the Power Impact Series. This year, we're taking it to a different level. We're taking it to a different height. And I'm sure you're going to stick around for all the episodes for the year 2023. Today, I'm sure you're ready for our guest. He's going to blow you away. Kickstarting the new year with this guest. But before I do that, I'll take my first commercial break. Right after, I'm going to introduce to you our guest for today on the Power Impact Series. Share the page, don't go anywhere. Get into the chat area. Let me know who is online with me. Let me know where you're joining me from. And let the vibe keep rolling. Stick around, don't go anywhere. I'll be back shortly. Need a spark to kickstart your innovation? Looking for thought and talks to get things moving? Wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty? With the eye-opening stories of digital disruption, extreme customer centricity, organizational innovation and global shift, our collective of speakers, MCs and moderators will shift your perspective. Meet our speakers. For booking and interviews, contact us on 0246-054092 or send us a mail info.afsesnet at gmail.com you can also follow us on all social media channels at afsesnet global african season speakers network influencing the next generation of africans influencing the next generation of africans and that's what we do here at the power impact series show sure. so i'll go straight away and then uh let you know who our guest is for today but as I said earlier on, share the link. Let others also join for our first episode in 2023. And as I say, get into the chat area. Let me know who is joining me, who is online with me. Let's get the vibe rolling for our first episode of 2023. Our guest for today happens to be someone who helped personal brands expand and monetize on LinkedIn. Our guest is a marketing and a management consultant. Our guest is a keynote speaker. Our guest does a lot of public speaking training for people. Our guest is a LinkedIn coach. And also, our guest is a digital entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time on the Power Impact series, and for the very first time in 2023, January, Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome for the very first time, Mr. Pauquesi for <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Can you hear me, Pauquesi? <laughs> Your first time on the Power Impact Series, and how do you feel being on the Power Impact Series? Uh yes, Pauquesi, we just get us. You get back to us shortly. And as I said, he's a personal brand, S brands, and then monetize on LinkedIn. So today, this conversation is going to be basically on all that he does. And then the kind of uh, tips he can share with us on the Power Impact series. Get into the chat area. Let me know who's joining me. Let me know where you're joining me from. Let's share the link. And then uh, so then we're going to take it on a slow walk. We're not really going to rush this out. You know, it take a lot of time, but it's going to be worthwhile being with us here on the Power Impact Series. Uh, last year, we had wonderful people, wonderful guests coming through. And uh, we love it. We love the feedback we get it from you because uh, we are here because of you. And we are here sharing all this that we're doing because of you. So we have him here now. Pagosi is here with us. Pagosi, how are you doing? Can you hear me? I'm doing great. I can hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? Wow. I can hear you loud and clear as well. How have you been? I mean, it's, it's the first day of the year 2023. 
Yes. How's yes. the year looking like? <laughs> um, so far, it's so far, good. so good. I did, I did my, I did, I planned for my year somewhere last week, looking at certain things that I would love to do and the love to accomplish in the year with an actionable plan. Right. So, so far, let's just hope and right. see what God does. How, how's the year looking for you too, as well? Well, as I'm smelling goodness. <laughs> Smell a lot of goodness in the atmosphere, <laughs> and I know it's going to be better. It's going to be great. We're going to move yeah. from, I mean, one level to another. And then, and as you're going to do for us today, you're going to take us through some of the key things that we need to do on our LinkedIn pages. And then, uh, we have as a business part of it, and we're going to grow because, yeah, we might be doing stuff, but hey, let's hear from you. So, in a nutshell, I mean, I, I give a little bit about you, but I want to know who is Parquesi Force and okay so that's that's a very that's a that's a that's a that's a very great question okay so park with you folks and so park with you is a continental keynote speaker he's somebody right. who loves to impact people he's okay can i be heard yeah i can All hear right. you okay. so Okay, fantastic. So, Paul Chrissy Folson is a continental keynote speaker, somebody who has a passion for public speaking, somebody who wants to be able to impact people through his words, through his understanding, through his knowledge, and he did that all through building of capacity. So, he wants to help others build capacity because he believes that, I believe that, you cannot achieve anything without building the capacity for it. For example, if you want to be able to Okay, so for example, if you want to be able to do anything at all in this world, you need capacity for it. If you want to be able to lift, can you hear me? Sorry, I I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right. So, if you want to be able to start running long miles, or you want to be able to do anything at all, you want to start running marathons. You need the capacity. You need to start exercising. Right, hello, Pagos. Can you hear me? Um, we kind of loosen you a little bit. Yes, we can hear you. Right, so Pagos is on the floor and he's telling us about what he's been doing and what he has been doing over the years, building capacity. And we are ready to listen to how he does it or how he's doing that building capacities. Yeah, so for those of you joining us, on, we want to say happy new year to you all and thank you for joining us this time around. It's 2023. And the first episode on the Power Impact series, and we have in here with us Paul Kwesi Forsen, and he was on the floor, so he's back all live. How was he? Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. You back here? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Paul Kwesi? Yeah, I can. I don't know what exactly. Go yes, can I can hear you. I don't know what exactly right, is going okay, on with my network today. Is very. It's it's weird. All right, the network wants okay. to tell us that it's a new year and we are ready for him. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit shaky today. It's a bit shaky today. Right. Okay. That's okay. All right. So you can hear me loud and clear, right? I hear you perfectly loud and clear. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So you asked about Park C. Folson. So I was basically saying that Park C. Folson is somebody who loves to impact people, who loves to be able to use his gift of speaking. I believe that your voice holds a lot of power. So if you can use your voice as, as a medium or as an instrument to be able to transfer knowledge or transfer anything that could be of relevance to a lesson, then you are good to go. So that's what I believe in. And that's what Parkway Force is all about. It's mainly about three things. When I speak, I speak for three main things. I speak to shape thoughts, to mold characters, and to propel destinies. So that's what basically I'm about. I'm about impact. And in a nutshell, I'm just a very cool, calm person. And that's about me, just in a nutshell. Right, in a nutshell, he's just a cool, calm person. Yes, but he's got a lot of stuff inside. So the coolness, I want to find out where the coolness is or where the coolness falls. But they... <laughs> well, no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So we're looking forward to a good year. Yeah, 2023. Right. So we want to zoom in straight to yeah. our topic for today. Harnessing the power of LinkedIn for personal and business growth. So what is LinkedIn all about? I mean, if, if for the first time people might have not heard of LinkedIn, someone who don't know LinkedIn, what is all about? What is it all about LinkedIn? 
Okay, so okay, that's a great question because not everybody that's on LinkedIn actually LinkedIn LinkedIn only has eight hundred and fifty million members. So what LinkedIn is, if you do not know, for anybody watching, LinkedIn is simply a social media app, just like Instagram, Facebook, what have you, Twitter, what have you. But then the thing is that with LinkedIn, LinkedIn is the world's largest professional networking app. So this is a, an app for business people, people who seek to be able to develop their professional lives or their career lives. So if you want to be able to be somebody who has access to different people in different networks and in different industries, then LinkedIn should be a place for you. It's, it's a more formal social media app rather than the casual apps that we have with Instagram and TikTok with people dancing and all okay 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 all right so that, that's a little bit about linkedin and then um what one stands to gain for being on linkedin so um we're waiting for parkway to get back online and then i will pick it from where he ended from yes yeah, so ladies and gentlemen if you're joining us for the very first time in 2023 we want to say happy new year to you and you are warmly welcome to the first episode of the Power Impact Series show, where today we have in our guest to be Parkwesi Fosin, who's going to give us a lot of talks and tips about harnessing the power of LinkedIn for personal and business growth. So I, I, I pose the first question to him to find out what LinkedIn is all about and well, what is LinkedIn? I mean, most people might not be on LinkedIn, but might be on other medias. So we're asking him what LinkedIn is, and then he has us. He has explained a little bit about LinkedIn, and now we're going to go into what it does, what are advantages, what one needs to know about LinkedIn, and all that for the personal and the business group. So he's back in here with us. Marcus, yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Okay, I can hardly hear you. I can all hear right, you, I... Yeah, right. Okay. So, so I was saying that LinkedIn is a social media app just like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, what have you. But the only difference is that LinkedIn is a more formal app. So if you want to be able to be somebody who wants to grow um, in terms of professional networks or in terms of getting business links or any of that, LinkedIn is the right place for you. So it's just a, it's a fully fledged social media app. You can text people, you can feel free post and all of that. Just that it has a more formal setting. The atmosphere there is more formal and more conducive for business and, um, and non casual talks and more focused topics. So that's why I can say LinkedIn is about. So it's just a social media app. You can join it and feel free and come and fraternize and build a network on LinkedIn. And that's basically what LinkedIn is about. Yeah. Right. So basically, that's what LinkedIn is all about. So it kind of puts your stuff in there, you, you build your profile in there, and then uh, you kind of link, I mean, linked up with people through your networks and stuff okay so yes. what, what are the advantages that one stands to gain for being on linkedin or any other okay. social media platform all right so now i mean when you look at so other social media platforms like instagram or you have twitter the thing is that it, because it's not very professional centered it has a very casual approach so that there, there, there are so many people who come on the app for different reasons. But on LinkedIn, you can see that when people join LinkedIn, they are coming for a very focused reason. One of the reasons people join LinkedIn is to be able to get jobs. That's not the main reason, but then it's an advantage. When you are on LinkedIn, there are jobs popping up every time. In fact, according to research, about 77 applications are sent each second on LinkedIn. Oh, okay. Okay, that's huge. 77 each second. I mean, that, that's, that takes us up to about 4,620 applications per minute. So that should help wow. people understand that the jobs are really abundant on LinkedIn. Almost every time you see a job, you look left, you look right, you see a job. So the thing is that it's one of the places for people to be able to get jobs or see op job opportunities. So that's right. what LinkedIn is about. And that's one way you can be able to, that's one advantage of LinkedIn. You can get, you can be closer to jobs. Number two, another advantage of LinkedIn is that it's a very great place for you to be able to build your personal brand okay okay right yeah so 
so I was saying that it's a, it's a great place for people to be able to build their personal brand, especially when you want to build a personal brand that is not casual, that is that is professional centered. So that is one one advantage of LinkedIn. You can easily by just being present on LinkedIn, you can. Okay, okay, okay. We will wait for Forsen to come in and uh, continue his tips for us. But yay, welcome everyone joining us. Can you share the link and let others also come in? Let's start the year right on the professional level of building a profile that can link you to these thousands of jobs that Forsen was talking about that you can have access to when you have a professional profile on LinkedIn and the kind of networks that one can make or that one can link up to on LinkedIn. So he was giving us some of the figures and some of the things that one stands to gain by having his or her profile on LinkedIn. So there are numerous job opportunities there. When you look left, when you look right, you're going to have a lot of ah, job opportunities on LinkedIn. But we're going to ask him some questions. I mean, it's more professional compared to the other social media pages, which you might have an account there, which is more casual. But this is really brand positioning kind of platform that you there and you position your brand in a way that you attract others who are like-minded in your world or in your line of profession that you build it so we're still waiting for progress to join us and then uh you know what we're doing it we're going to have more info from you but we're going to take a short commercial break again whilst we wait for progress to join us don't go anywhere stick around Need a spark to kickstart your innovation? Looking for thoughts and talks to get things moving? Wondering how to navigate a future full of change and uncertainty? With the eye-opening stories of digital disruption, extreme customer centricity, organizational innovation and global shift, our collective of speakers, MCs and moderators will shift your perspective. Meet our speakers. For booking and interviews, contact us on 0246-054092 or send us a mail info dot at gmail.com you can also follow us on all social media channels at abscessnet global african season speakers network influencing the next generation of africans influencing the next generation of africans and that's all we'll seek to do and that's all we are doing and on the studio with me in the studio today is parkwesi folson who is uh it's a personality that helps personal brands and expands and monetize on LinkedIn. He's a marketing and management consultant. He's a keynote speaker. He is a public speaking trainer. And then he is also a LinkedIn coach. And at last but not the least, a digital entrepreneur. He's telling us about the things and the good things that one stands to gain for being on LinkedIn. What are some of the things that you have to gain for being there? How you position yourself, the number of job opportunities that are on with the app on a daily basis and how you position yourself to get all these ones and the kind of links you need to link up whilst you are linked in but uh, we, we have a little bit of a challenge with him getting onto the platform but hey he's still going to be with us don't go anywhere stick around and we are talking about harnessing the power of linkedin for personal and business growth and Parkwesi is the guy who is doing that for us today. And so we wish we just wait for him a little bit and then we'll go. But get into the chat area. Let me know who is online with me, who is joining me today, who is joining me for the first episode of the Power Impact Series 2023. Who is online with me? Can we get to the chat area? Let me know your name. Let me know who is here. Let the vibe keep flowing. Let me flow some energy in the chat area. And then please get your questions ready for Pastor Sipposing. Yes, so we're going to continue from here. Right, Pastor welcome back. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, you are giving us. Something. So sorry, I yeah. think. All right, so so sorry, my apologies. I think um my network has been really bad, so I've been I've had to change positions, um, locations, so that, that it can be effective. Okay. Right, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're here for you. We're here for you. So. So you were giving us some of the advantages yeah. of being on the LinkedIn app and no. giving us one already and you're going to give us second one or third one. We're waiting for that one. 
Yes. So I was outlining the advantages. So I first started by saying that LinkedIn is great. So I first started by saying that LinkedIn is great for career opportunities or for job opportunities. So if you are somebody who is looking forward to move your career forward, then I I encourage you to join LinkedIn because LinkedIn creates that atmosphere for you. For example, as I said, Oh, wow. let me just read some comments from there. The chats area, those that are joining me. So I have in Mackenzie, Maurice says, Happy New Year to you all. Same for Joe's Garcia. He says, Happy New Year to you. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? Happy New Year to you too. I have in here Salitha Sandra saying, Happy New Year to you all. I also have in here with me Leslie Amwa. He says, Sending you greetings from Kumasi, more grace, Parkwesi Folsen. And then I have in here again, Joseph says, uh, professionally speaking, you can live without Facebook, Instagram, etc. However, LinkedIn has a real added value. Okay, thank you. So we want to learn more about that. Joseph, Joseph can you tell us a little bit more about LinkedIn? What, what makes it so professional what makes it professional and then how does it add real value to you if joe is around you can still get into the chat area and let me know what we wait for for sin wow well, but because i'm going to i'm going to do the conversation with you as well so you can you can hop into the chat area let us know what you think about linkedin and what has it been beneficial to you have you been using linkedin just tell me some of the advantages of LinkedIn whilst we wait for forcing to get back online. So today is a chit chat kind of thing. It's a new year. We're going in a relaxing way. We're going in a relaxed manner. So let us chit chat. So in the chat area, let me know what you think about LinkedIn. How's the app? Are you on LinkedIn? Do you have anything being on LinkedIn? Or what are the perceptions you have about LinkedIn? Let's talk about LinkedIn today. We are harnessing the power of LinkedIn for personal and business growth. Oh, yeah, Joe's is back again. He says, yeah, LinkedIn allows you to have a real professional network. Okay. Okay. Real professional network. So that means, what does it do? What does it do? It, it kind of guides you on what you post or guides you on what you're doing. Oh, is it, is, is it a marketing place? You market yourself or, or you bring your product out so people get to see those products or your services is that what it means to be on linkedin or is that what linkedin is all about we are sharing we are sharing so if you get online share with us your experience in using linkedin or if you are not on linkedin what are some of the things you've heard about linkedin what are the good things the bad things anything you heard about linkedin that we can share and then going forward for the year 2023 what we stand to gain from being on LinkedIn. We're still waiting for Parker C, forcing who is going to take us through. And he started already. He's giving us some figures about the number of people that are on LinkedIn and the kind of job opportunities that are available on LinkedIn, the kind of positioning one needs to position him or himself whilst on LinkedIn. So that is doing that. But we haven't had a little bit of challenge with him, but hey, that is it. Once you hear, we can still keep the conversation flowing. We can keep the conversation moving on. So if you come online, don't don't feel very don't feel bored. Just get in the chat area. Let me know who is online with me. Let me know where you're joining me from. And also share your experience and share your thoughts on LinkedIn. Are you on LinkedIn? Your account on LinkedIn. Is your account on LinkedIn active? Hey, what do you see on LinkedIn? What do you do with your account on LinkedIn? Okay, so I have in here Joe says uh, LinkedIn keep your network updated about your career movement and at the same time getting the right professionals when you need them. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you so much, Jos. We are doing a chat. Okay, Forsen, can you hear me? Power question Forsen, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. All right. All right. Let's okay. Keep on going. Yeah. 
All right. So I was outlining the advantages of LinkedIn. So number one, the major out the major advantage of LinkedIn is that you are closer to job opportunities and career growth. So as I was saying that on LinkedIn, jobs are abandoned on LinkedIn. In fact, according to research, about 77 applications are sent every second on LinkedIn. And I think that takes us up to about 4,620 applications per, per minute. So that should tell you that the jobs are abandoned on LinkedIn. And if you are somebody who wants to be able to get a job or be closer to career opportunities or even some, yeah, somebody who wants to even just move up in, in your career or wherever you are, I think LinkedIn is a better bet for you than you spending your time on Instagram or Twitter or any other app because of the setting of LinkedIn. Number two, if you want to be able to build a very professional, I repeat, if you want to be able to build a very professional personal brand, then I think LinkedIn is the place for you. There's no other place than building a, a brand on LinkedIn. When you build a brand on LinkedIn, you are different from every other person because you now have a more formal look, a more formal appeal, rather than something that is a bit non casual by building somewhere else. LinkedIn gives you that look because if you are building on LinkedIn, you are building on a site where everybody else is more or less a professional or more or less somebody who is who is more much more enthused about focused topics so that's what that's the second advantage i can give of linkedin number okay so these are the two the two main things that i i think for anybody who wants to join linkedin these are the two main reasons why i think you should be on linkedin and it's absolutely the best reasons oh wow 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 i mean while well, you wait we're doing a chit chat on on here with uh, our audience online. And Joe has been giving us some feedback and that you are just confirming most of them. He says, uh, due to my job, I change many times. I change many times, or I change a lot of countries due to my job. Thanks to LinkedIn, my professional contact always know how to find me. So I think that's another advantage of being on LinkedIn as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Joe's Joe's travels a lot around the world. So yay, thumbs up to you, Joe's. You're mm -hmm. giving us all the all the feedback that we need. And okay, so when you're talking about professional, how professional are you talking about? Does it mean that um those on the other social media handles are not that professional, or how is this one so different from the other social media platforms? Okay, so when I mean professional, in other words, I just mean formal. Right. Some not necessarily professional in the sense that everybody else on some other platform is not professional. No, not to say that, not to right. say that at all. I just mean you have a more formal look rather than something that is casual. You know, when you, when you go to TikTok, TikTok is a social media app. When you open TikTok, it's only dancing, you see, you see, people dancing Shatawale and all of that. I mean, that's great, but then it doesn't have a formal approach, it's non formal. Okay. So, when I'm yeah. talking about professional, just anything that is formalized. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So that's formalized. So yeah, we just know who you are, what you do, what your experiences are. Yes, and it makes sense because I mean, some of these social media uh, platform don't give you that opportunity to get to know some of this um, historical career path of someone there. But you might just see the current thing. But with, with LinkedIn, as you're saying, that you means you are putting up your professional kind of stuff that people can join you. All right. So how? Should one build their professional page or professional self on LinkedIn to attract, okay. be able to assess the opportunities that the application offers? Okay, okay. So just to just to also clarify, LinkedIn is more than just jobs. I mean, you can right. do anything. You can build a brand for whatever. Me personally, I do not come to LinkedIn. I do not join LinkedIn for a job. I join LinkedIn okay. to mainly build my personal brand and allow me to be able to build a career or not, 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 let me not say a career, but allow me to build myself as a public speaker and okay. attracted opportunities for myself. Okay, so what I can say for anybody out there who wants to be able to, who wants to be able to experience or take part of any of the advantages on LinkedIn or attract jobs or whatever you want on LinkedIn. The thing is that most people who are on LinkedIn do not understand that you have to be able to brand yourself to be able to get opportunities. 
once you do okay. not brand yourself then you cannot you cannot even position yourself to attract the opportunities now okay. branding is now branding the word brand actually comes from a german word or a proto germanic word known as brand and that was in the part in the in the in the 1500s so okay. basically that word brand actually b r a n d r it meant mm -hmm. to mark permanently with iron so in those times before the word evolved to what we know is at in those times they were using the branding meant to be able to mark animals permanently okay. with iron so so that people can be able to distinguish that this is this is benjamin's goods and this is right. Paris's goods you right. know so when you inscribe on the horns then you've branded it so and that was literally the meaning at the time then it literally evolved to what we have now with personal brands and corporate brands and all of that so basically for anybody there you have to be able to distinguish yourself how are you going to distinguish yourself now branding i've i've I have been able to develop or develop an acronym for brand, and that should help anybody build a personal brand. Now, the B, the B in the brand is belief. First of all, you have to believe in yourself before you can build a personal brand. If you do not believe in yourself, when you're talking about personal brand, it's about you. Personal brand is about you. A lot of people think personal brand is about your external outlooks, your logo, all of that. No, please. It is about you. How can you believe in yourself? So the B in brand is for be belief. In fact, the origin or the etymology for the word belief comes from a proto-Germanic word known as galongen. Okay. And basically that word comes from an old English or an old French word known as belifan. Okay. These are I study so a lot of people know me for studying the the root of words. I'm an etymology enthusiast, so right. I understand the origin of words and all of that. So my speaking engagement, you hear a lot of that. So right. I just have to lay that down for anybody who is listening. <laughs> yeah. So belifan. So and that word means to be able to have faith or put confidence in. So if you want to be able to believe yourself, you have to put confidence in yourself. You have to say, hey, I am Benjamin. I can do this. These are my strengths. These are my weaknesses. I have to believe myself. If you cannot believe yourself or believe your product or believe your service or believe whatever you're doing, you cannot brand yourself. Now okay. the R, now we move to that. That's the B. So we move to the R. The R okay. in the brand is relevance. Now, what is relevance? Relevance is simply being useful to something or being being helpful. That's that's what relevance is simply. Now, the concept of relevance is that relevance is subjective. Relevance in itself, the concept of relevance is subjective. What may be relevant to me may not necessarily be relevant to you, Benjamin. Do you agree? Right. I agree with you. Agree yeah. With you. So. Yeah, so that's 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 the thing about relevance. In fact, the the etymology for the word relevance comes from a Latin word known as relevatem. Relevatem okay. simply means helpful. So that's a Latin word, relevatem. Now, I mean, so when we are looking at relevance, how can you be relevant? Whatever you are doing, whatever you are offering, you've believed in yourself, you've believed in your potentials, your abilities, your capabilities. Now, how can those things be relevant to the other people? You know, I always tell people that branding is about two entities. It's about yourself and others. So now how can I now take what is my capabilities? How can I take what I've believed in myself and then make it relevant to others? A lot of people do things without even considering whether it's is relevant to the other party or not now when we're talking about building a personal brand on linkedin it involves let's say your audience whatever you are doing is it relevant to the audience is it relevant to anybody who wants to um who wants to attract who wants you to join their company me for example i used to post certain things relevant content or leadership to the extent where i got job offers and I, I did not seek for any job office. I just got job yeah. office straight out like that just because I was providing relevant content to the people who felt that they needed it. And they said, oh, okay, I see, I can see that this guy possesses some leadership qualities. I want him in my organization. So yeah. it's as simple as that. You have to be able to embody some relevance. Whatever you do should have the relevance. So that's the R. Now the A is simply appeal appeal whatever now i mean you have everything what you've now in fact let me even touch on something about relevance before i continue now when it comes to relevance 
there are there are certain things you are supposed to relevance will teach you for example relevance will help you to define your audience avatar in other words your target audience okay right so maybe let me just quickly outline some points right now for anybody who wants to be able to learn how to find their target audience because you know as i said relevance the concept of relevance is subjective so right. if you want what what is relevant to me may not be relevant to another person so if you want your con your content or whatever you are posting or whatever you have you want it you want it to get to the to be relevant to a certain group of people you have to define the group of people so that you can serve them with the relevant content okay okay, okay. so Number one, the first thing, if you want to be able to build your audience avatar is to identify your own goals or your own, your own objectives. How can yeah. I, or what, what, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to achieve? What, what, what is it that I seek to, I seek to achieve while, um, ex while projecting my capabilities or my strengths? So if you have that, you, you've identified your goals, then you can now, second of all, you can now, you can now define the demography of okay. your audience avatar. So first of all, you find your goals, then you find the demography. Now the demography is simply, for example, when I started building online, I was appealing to, my, my demography was first of all to student leaders because I was a student at the time. Then second of all, to any corporate manager at all who is, who is in a leadership position, I'm talking about po possibly top management, right? So that, that was my that was my demography. So you have to be right. able to first of all identify your goals, and then set find a demographic. Um you have to find a demographic, you have to find a demography for yourself and for whatever you're doing. Okay, so that's the R. Now the A, you should be appealing. Your brand at your brand is going to tell a lot about you. Your brand should be appealing to other people. Once your brand is not appealing to other people, people are not going to love you and you cannot attract opportunities to yourself. So how do you make it appealing? First of all, now that's when you can now start looking at the external things. But first of all, that's why we started from the B. You are supposed to look at the inward part. Then after that, you can move on to the appealing part. Now that has to do with your logo, the way you post content. You don't have, you know, you do everything in a very logical, chronological manner that at least has some sense inside that really makes is relevant to the other people right so right. that's that's the thing about appealing you should now get try and get a nice logo a nice whatever a nice um, picture over there just make your brand appealing to people in whatever right. way you can okay so that's the a now the n in brand the n is for narrate narrate okay. now what do i mean by narrate people do understand that good brands are built on stories okay. let me repeat that again Good brands are, are built on stories. If you do not have a story to tell, you know, the thing about the thing about storylines when it comes to branding is that when you have when you when you have a brand story, you can build brand equity. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. When, right. when you have a brand story, you can build brand equity. Now, brand equity is simply the value of your brand in comparison to maybe generic equivalent or something like that. So when we're talking about brand equity, when you're able to now tell your story of your brand or for your personal brand, how did you get to what you are doing or why are you doing what you are doing? Can you tell us the story about it? If When you do that, what you do is that you create an authentic connection between you and the other party who, whom you seek to um, self or that that is your audience actually so anybody else who now sees your story or hears your story now gets attracted to you the person and that is what is going to allow them or allow you to be able to magnet or attract opportunities to yourself why because you decided to tell your story other people do not tell their stories in fact jesus told stories every time that's why he had a very good personal brand I mean, we, we love people like Robert Kiyosaki. Why? Because he told you his story, rich dad, poor dad. It was his story, right? So that's the thing about building personal brands. When you can get a, a when you can narrate your storyline, then you can build brand equity. So that is the N. And then the D for the brand, the acronym brand is D is different shades. As simple as that, different shade. Now you find a way to have a USP. That is simply your unique selling 
position or proposition as people call it right so what is your usp or how, how what makes you unique in itself how can you differentiate you from other equivalents in the industry or other equivalents in a particular niche right so when it comes to brand if you cannot differentiate yourself if you cannot distinguish yourself you do not have a brand try and find your authenticity then you distinguish yourself so with that with these things acronyms that i've given you if you decide to just believe in yourself then provide relevant content or re you, you you make yourself relevant in on the linkedin space then you make yourself appealing on the linkedin space then you can narrate your story to create a deeper connection with your audience or with the other party and you can differentiate yourself and distinguish yourself then you can attract opportunities to yourself and you can do that with ease as simple as that <laughs> you can do that with ease. I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's enough nuggets you've just shared there. Let me yeah. try and break it down. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ladies we'll and gentlemen, if you're just joining me, I'm here with Fagosi Falls, and we want to say a happy new year to you. And he's giving us some new year nuggets for positioning yourself on LinkedIn. We talking it about harnessing the power of personal and business growth and you can do that without having an authentic brand without letting people identify with that kind of brand that when we mention Parkwisi Forsen we know that is Parkwisi Forsen and this is his brand so he's giving us the acronym for brand if you're not yeah. here don't worry once the show is over go start the whole show again and you're going to get this for the year uh let me go to the chat area and see what people are saying let me hear what my audience are saying let me give all the shout out to joe's and let's get to marquesia okay clark clinton says noted parkwisi we are taking the notes um okay. so uh there's a question here but i think um yeah, you you've you've tackled it man but i just want you to know that there's a question all right here. how yeah. do you brand yourself on linkedin i think what you just said it's enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you want to throw <laughs> more lights on to it. Like, okay. Joseph says, okay. Uh, to have a story requires time. Some bad and or good experience. Your brand cannot wake or cannot wake up just one day and already have a story to tell okay. others. On LinkedIn, you can start building your story. I mean, I think he's 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 but he's yeah. just adding up to the storytelling yeah. 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 So 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 okay. So let's say I'm new on LinkedIn. After listening mm -hmm. to you today, I'm sure a lot of people are going to revive the accounts on LinkedIn. So let's say let's take yeah. <laughs> let's take it from that point. So I had an account, or I have an account on LinkedIn, and it's not really functional. I'm not really operating it but after hearing all this from you i want to start my linkedin account i want to revive it what are some of the steps that i need to take or no, what okay. i think because I, I okay obviously i would say i don't have a story so what story am i going to put there how am i going no, to okay. brand myself what am i going to put there are gurus up there there are people already doing the good things i want to right. go and say am i not going to talk to the 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 the, yeah. the, the, the huge people the managers the gurus in the it field what am i going to do on linkedin what advice do you have for somebody who's about to revive their account on linkedin okay so for i i mean i kind of relate to that because when i started on linkedin i did not have I did not know what exactly, I did not know where exactly to start from. I was confused in, in my head. I did not know where to start from. I was trying to, I was finding it difficult to pin, to point my finger or something that I could use to at least build a personal brand. So that that's even one of the reasons why I even wrote my first ebooks that is currently live. Yeah, because I didn't want other people to struggle. So the very first thing that you need to do when you join LinkedIn do not start thinking of building a personal brand just like that. No, 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 no. Start by optimizing your profile. When you create an account, start by optimizing it. <clears throat> now, optimization is, I mean, when you say optimizing, a lot of people think it's 
something uh, extraordinary no it's just simply filling all the relevant sections on your profile so for example getting a very great picture a, pro a profile picture just gets you something nice something decent something that can show your face when it comes to profile pictures just get something from your chest up and then that you're good to go you can get a linkedin banner write a little about section about who you are then you're filling your experience section filling your education if you have any and get your skills and all of that and basically once you can feel all of that you are good to go but the main thing a lot of people miss is that they, their headlines their headlines your headline is supposed to sell yourself so what you can wow. do is that with your headline for what i've done i've written i help personal brands expand and monetize on linkedin because i'm now telling you what i do so your pet okay. your headline should reflect exactly how you can help people or what exactly or who you, who exactly you are just in right. a nutshell right, right. so if you can do that, then you are good to go. That's the very that's a, that's the first thing. The second thing for anybody who wants to now start building or lending, still do not just start by building a personal brand. You can spend some time just trying to build an audience. Right. So for me, when I joined LinkedIn, I did not start posting right off. And I and I know that sounds weird, but then what I did was that I was observing creators. I was observing every other person and looking for people who I thought that, okay, I can do what this person is doing. I love how this person is, do is doing their thing. So, in fact, before I even give that point as in my second point, I would love to use that as my second point. Please observe creators. Observe other people in the same industry or just look for people who are doing great things on LinkedIn. And just look, look for people who you can relate with. And then you right. can look at how they are doing their things. Then you do your things or model it in the exact same way. But please remember to be authentic. Please be right. unique. Don't just copy blindly and copy and paste it. And you know, sometimes when we used to be in JHS or something, sometimes you can copy somebody's work and then you copy the person's <laughs> name and all of that. <laughs> right? So... So I, I think you should you should be unique. You should you should be unique. You should be unique. Then so, so after that mm -hmm. oh, just a quick one. So being unique okay. doesn't mean you need to pile up a long story that you end up chipping in some kind of formatted or you just form your own kind of story in there, which is not really the true picture yes. that you want to pay. And yeah. so Jones yeah. is just saying that pay attention to your story, never lie because it's professional and other colleagues or suppliers can also know your story. So being authentic means if it's a two line story that you have, you have to put that two line there or you need to beef it up. Well, you, you, I, don't, I don't think you should lie. I just think that you should be able to be authentic and use that, use whatever you have Right. Just find a way to harness. You know, that's what we are talking about, harness. Yeah, yeah. Just find right. a way to use whatever you have. When I joined LinkedIn, and when I joined LinkedIn at first, I used to see people, I used to, I saw a 70-year-old boy and the boy was a millionaire. I was like, ah, you're a 70 year old and you're a millionaire. He's a TEDx speaker. He's doing so many things. And I, I was just there. I came and I was, I, 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 nothing, there was nothing for me. <laughs> so what did I do? I just used what I had. I did not tell a lie. However, I started building, what is what I did? I did not start building exactly on my story. I started right. building and leveraging on my skills. That is one okay. thing you can do. Okay. A lot of people okay. try to start leveraging from their story right on set. And, you know, when they do that, they don't even necessarily have a track record. So you cannot do something authentic. You end up lying. So what you can do is you can start leveraging on your skill, on your knowledge. So I came and I said, okay, I have knowledge on leadership. Let me start telling you about leadership. And in fact, right. around that same time, just a few months before, I became the president of the largest private tertiary business school in Ghana, which is the yeah. Central University business school right so i just used that as something and said okay so i have leadership in this i have lead i'm a leader here i can tell you all about leadership and it's a credible story and that was really the only thing i had at the time so just find something but leverage on your skills and your knowledge and just relate it to a part or an aspect of you and you'll be great wow ah, yeah. you'll be great everyone you'll has a story but everyone has a story everyone has a story Exactly. So you use your story as being the leader of, I mean, your your your, your group in school, and then yeah. it was a story. And then, uh, I mean, mm -hmm. students could easily relate to it, and even workers, I mean, professionals, yeah. 
relate to it because they've also been leaders of um, students um, in groups. So it's easier yeah. for us to relate. So everyone has a story. <laughs> you need to tell your story and then you your content. But that is not yeah. that is not. All right. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. I'm enjoying this whole chat. And then it is wonderful to open 2023 with this. You need to handle yeah. the power of LinkedIn. You need to do that for personal growth and business. And I think um, Paragus is doing justice to that. He's a lesson it for all of us. And then, uh, so, so for those who are already there, they have a story. They've not yet told yeah. the story, but they've built content over the years. And yeah. yeah. you get to find them not having a huge following or huge commissions. Is it that they are doing something wrong or they are not really expanding their, their reach? Or what, what could that be? Even though they've been there for some, they've been there for years. They have the content that then it, it, you still have the same number of people following or the connections you have. Mm -hmm. What can be done? What can be done to do to have an expanded kind of um, following or commissions coming to you? Okay. Okay. I think that that's a, that's a very great question. I think that's a great question when it comes to LinkedIn. A lot of people really suffer with getting a lot of connections because, you know, first of all, when you want to build a brand, what people don't understand is that people start building their brand without, people start building their brands without getting eyeballs on their brands. Right. You need an audience to listen to whatever you have to say. One of the people that I look up to said, if you're a genius and nobody knows who you are, nobody can really tell how smart you are. So right. the thing is that when, 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 when you want to build a brand, especially on social media, you need eyeballs on whatever you're doing. You need eyeballs on your content and on, on whatever you can do as a person to attract the opportunities for you. So when it comes to LinkedIn, the number one thing a lot of people have to do is to post content. The thing, you have to continue it. But the thing is that do not just post any content. Post content that is, that is something that I call FRVA. It should be focused, it should be relevant, it should be valuable, and it should be authentic. Yeah. These are the four things. People post content and it's not valuable at all. They just talk about their story just like that. You are supposed mm -hmm. to give your story, talk about your story, give some actionable points to it. So, in fact, that's what I'll even add. Actionable, mm -hmm. actionable. actionable. Do right. people people do not post actionable content in fact i want you to know for everybody listening that content is the engine of your brand okay content reviews your substance when it comes to all of this on social media the way to lead is by content once you do not have great content going on for you you cannot even start going number two thing people have to start doing that's underrated is that people you have to start limiting the number of hashtags. If you're already on LinkedIn, you've been on LinkedIn for some time, you have to start, and I see a lot of people who have been on LinkedIn for a long time, when they start posting, when they start posting content, they use more than five hashtags or seven hashtags. The thing is that the LinkedIn algorithm keeps on changing. When you post one hashtag, it's, it's like a hyperlink. So it takes you to another page and you can see everything around the hashtag and things. So when, when you have so many of them, you've made the, You've inundated the post for the algorithm to even push it across across its users on the app. So what you need to do is you need just a limited number of hashtags so that you can now propel your message. Try and get at least three. People say get five, but I think three is the best for people. Every time you post content, just use three most they use the three most relevant hashtags to the content and then share it. Then you see that the relevant people will start seeing it. LinkedIn can now promote your post and then you can do more and more and more. So that's one of the things I can say. The other thing that I can tell people is also connect with people yourself. Do not just expect people to just magically connect with you. No, connect to people. Pick and choose the people you want to connect with. Connect to people who you know are focused. But the thing is that this is a trick. Do not connect with 
do not connect find accounts that are active and connect with active accounts a lot of people start they they are linkedin and they don't they don't connect to people who are active they connect to somebody who has who is who has been on linkedin since 2013 no you don't do not do not do that do not do that at all i want you to start connecting with people who are active because the active people are the people who are going to now um in turn interact and engage with your content so you need right. people who are active on the app to start to to you have to start connecting with people who are active on the app to be able to at least promote yourself and once you do that you start going your base and you can be good to go so start connecting with people so that's all i can say for anybody that okay wow wow that's all he can say for anybody on the i love this i love this topic and i love how it is turning out to be i love it he said f rva and give us another one he has also given us the acronym for brand and hey this is a whole section that we have for us. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, we, we might do a, a part two of this <laughs> yeah i think so i think so because <laughs> more has to be said a lot has to be said a lot, said, a lot yeah. said because we we start in the year and we need to we need to optimize our things <laughs> yeah, for the yeah. year because yay <laughs> when you see you we know that this is this person and that is your brand you, you, your yeah. nature carries your brand and then what you do but the, that was a classic exactly. one talking about optimizing your profile on linkedin because that is what people see and that what yeah. brings to your account or your profile to exactly who is if let me chip in quickly let me chip in quickly uh, yesterday right. Yesterday, I had a client from Nigeria, and this is a man who who is looking for jobs and all of that. So he wanted to learn about LinkedIn. So he he, he opted for my my private session. Is that that's paid? That's a different thing. Right. And I helped him optimize his profile. And within two hours, he got a job offer from a recruiting firm. <laughs> within two hours. So I want people out there to understand that optimization of your profile this was yesterday this is not anything it was 31st yesterday last year <laughs> last year i last year in terms of yesterday right and it happened yeah. in two hours right cool. so i just want you to understand that when you can optimize your profile you are doing yourself the best thing so start right. optimizing your profile find the best ways by which you can communicate your value through just your page so when i open your page when i open whoever is on the show when i open benjamin's page i should be able to say say that oh wow i love what is on this page i've got opportunities just by simply optimizing my profile people just read my about section and say hey i love what you do i love what you stand for i love your morals i love how you put everything i want to give you an opportunity on this and that and that's how i got my opportunity that's how i got the chance to be able to be on one of the biggest podcasts in ghana so just by that so i think when you optimize you are doing yourself so much good and you should start doing that yeah you should start doing that in the year 2023 january optimize yourself for the months ahead and the days ahead and the weeks ahead because you know what optimizing yourself pushes you up there it pushes yeah. you up there for all crawlers all web crawlers to easily yeah. get you and find out who you are. Ah, my, oh my. Let me get into the chat here and see if there are any questions or any compliments here. You can pull in your questions now. We are running up shortly. If you have any questions for Parquisi, you can let us have it. If not, just get ready for the hashtag for today. Hey, this is a new year. And let's see what the hashtag for the new year is going to be. It's going to be for today. And as we do it, you know what? The hashtag has already been dropped. Yes, you dropped the hashtag. Yeah. For my end, I will need to know if you have a hashtag yourself. But hey, I have my hashtag already. That is good. I'm in. Okay, Stephen Amaya says he's having some challenges, but ah, you know, but you guys are doing well. Kudos. Knowledge is power. Joe's coming again. He said LinkedIn is also a wonderful tool to select your prospects when your business requires to be very selective. LinkedIn helps you. To do that, yes, I think so. I think so. Per what um, Pagosi has said, I think so. I think that's what. Yes, 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 yes. If you join us, yes, we are running up. All right, so Pagosi, we want to take yeah. the final words before we go. No, right. Definitely, we're going to have a part two of this. So just keep that. Okay. <laughs> right, right. We just optimize okay. our profile. We just optimize our profile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So the only thing I want to say. And for everybody who 
out there who has heard me speak before I always say this and I will continue to say this each and every time that everything that I've said here does not make any sense it's nonsense in fact because as we've heard knowledge is power but then the thing is that that's not true when you look at that on the surface level it's true but when you look at the nitty-gritty and the dynamics of everything you know that knowledge in itself is not power Knowledge is, in itself is not power. <clears throat> it's the application of knowledge that is power. So everything that I've said, I need you to be able to now leave here and practicalize it. Do not keep it on a theoretical basis. I want you to start applying everything that I've said. And if you do that, I can promise you that is when you apply the knowledge, that's when you see the power. And when once you get the power, then you can see results and you can grow. So I want you to leave this place not just leaving on a theoretical basis, but you should, you should start applying, you should start practicalizing everything. And I can promise you, you'll be the next person to be able to bear fruits or enjoy the fruits of LinkedIn. Thank you. Wow, that is it. It's exactly what he just said. Application of knowledge is power. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank <laughs> you so much, Progressy. And hey, let's see yeah. if this is our hashtag for today. Let's hear S E C. Okay, K, K, K. This is it. Okay, the hashtag for today is simple. Brand yourself. <laughs> Brand yourself. Brand yourself. <laughs> the hashtag for today is simple one. Brand yourself. Brand yourself. Carry it out. Throughout the whole week. Brand yourself. And you know brand what it yourself. takes to brand yourself. Let us yeah. pinpoint you and attach the brand to you for what you do or what you stand for. And that is simply what do you do? And you know what? Yes. First day of the year. And we can just go without taking our first cyber security tips and add up. Progressive, you just join us back again, but this is time for Pa to do cyber security awareness. And today, simple one. We're not talking much. We're just talking about physical security. Physical security. Yes, yeah, so most often, we think about securing the systems in organization. We put in all the firewalls, we put in all the DMZs, we put in all the antiviruses, we put in all that we need to do to secure the system, we secure everything on the premises, in the cloud, portable devices. We bring in all the security measures. But most of it, we do forget. Or oh, it's just, eludes it us the physical security. Now, this is what the bad guys are doing. They are contracting third-party vendors to carry out this, this for them. So they are paying some third-party vendors to get them information for them to use for the activities. And this is how they do it. They're paying some of these guys, the cleaners in the organization, paying the technicians, the AC technicians, the printer technicians, uh, the telephone technicians, the computer technicians, uh, the furniture repairers, and all that, the interior decals. They, they, they are paying all of these people to fish out information for them. Now, this is how they do it. You leave a lot of sensitive information on your decks at the close of work when it can be logged in the safe when it can be logged in your drawer but we don't do it we leave it on decks open we leave portable devices on our decks and all this these guys do come in with devices that are able to scan and they scan this sensitive documents they scan the sticky notes that you have on your monitor that you have on your table they are able to take a picture of your whole desktop and some of us do put our credentials, our online credentials on our desktop somewhere there. We write it somewhere, place it under the, the, the keyboard, place it somewhere on the desktop. They are able to capture all these things and they take it back home or take it to whoever is paying them to get this information or this data for them. And they are able to put them together and make meaningful things out of them. And they use that to attack the organization. They're not only attacking you, but they're attacking the whole organization. So the next time you leave in the office, the next time you have any sensitive document on your desk, you need to know the best thing to do them is to log in the safe, log in the drawer, keep them at a secure place that a third party person will not have access to it. And it can go out 
and it can go against your organization. So this is part one of physical security. Thank you so much for joining us. This aspect, uh, aspect is brought to you by Cyberbells. Thank you so much for joining us. It is going to be a wonderful year. It is going to be a wonderful time. And as I always say, dreams are in levels. Make sure you get to the top level of your dream. Thank you so much for joining us, Parkwisi. It was a wonderful time. It was a wonderful time having you on the Power Inbox series. And definitely we're going to come up with a party of it. Have a wonderful week. To meet same time next week, right here on the Power Inbox series to welcome our next speaker for the year. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. All the best.